a big world full of a lot of different people that do a lot of different things. And it just so happens my passion is fishing. I started fishing in the Redfish store when I was around 23 years old. Uh, after I caught a redfish, I bought a boat, I started fishing every day, and every day when I got off of my normal job, I'd go put the boat in, I'd go fish, and I'd fish till dark. And I'd go home, and I'd eat, sleep, and then I'd get back up the next day and go to work, and I'd go fish. And one day, I was sitting there and said, okay, I'm gonna become a guide. And I went and got my captain's license. And I said, I'm not good enough to do this. And then another year went by, Sorry, right, I'm, I'm gonna start this thing. I'm gonna start doing it. I thought, you know what? I'm not good enough. And I kept telling myself that until I knew I was good enough. I'd still work two jobs uh, and did this on the weekends, and then I'd do it on the afternoons whenever I'd get off of my normal job. I'd go run a charter or a harbor tour or something like that. Then I got a shot, my first shot at TV. This guy named Carl Kalanka, he's got a show called Extreme Angler TV. It's on World Fishing Network. Never met the guy before in my life. I shot him a message. I was like, hey man, you ever caught a redfish before? If not, I'm the man to put you on. So I went out and shot a bunch of video and sent it to him. He called me like 30 minutes after I sent it. He goes, I'll be there in three days. And uh, we filmed two episodes of his show together and Carl has become one of my best friends. We've shot a bunch of other shows since then. I did Top Hooker on Animal Planet. I zip-lined with a net and scooped fish up. I caught fish off of a water tricycle. Caught fish out of tree stands, off of round inner tubes, square floating dock pieces. But to the end of it, over the course of two days, uh, I wound up winning. I need to believe in myself, and if you don't believe in yourself, then nothing's possible. 